We're here in my classroom this week. This video is a little different. I decided I'm just gonna take you along as I plan while my students are at Related Arts, Music, PE, just so you can see what life is like in fourth grade planning as a teacher. If you're new here, I'm Rachel Vincent, and I share tips on how to run an effective and efficient classroom so that you can get more done here at school. Let's get Monday started. So one of the things I have that really helps me is a weekly to-do list because I found that I was doing things that earlier in the week that could have waited and not getting things done when I needed to get them done. So I just make this weekly to-do list. I've laminated it. And then, so I know Mondays, these are my top three must do's um, that I need to get done today, which is uh, graded papers are the papers I send home with students in their Monday folders. I need to send out my weekly parent email and then we have a grade level meeting after school today. And so then this is what I will tackle the rest of the week. If I finish these three tasks early, I can move on to uh, my Tuesday to-do list. So I am fortunate enough to have a practicum student from one of our local colleges that will um, do our Monday folders. So I send graded papers home every Monday. We file them into our filing system here and then the graded papers go in these folders along with like a weekly report and work habits that I fill out and obviously can't show you in that because it has student information on it but those go home every Monday so that's um, one of the things that I had to do today because my practicum student is actually on fall break this week but I have that done and so now I'm going to work on my parent email for the week. So after I send out parent emails, I also update our class website. I have a whole parent page that I put a lot of the same information that I send in a parent email on our class website, but that just gives it a sort of permanent place um, because once you know you get a whole bunch of emails, the email you sent earlier gets pushed down. And so if parents like on Thursday need the information from Monday's email, they can just find it on our parent page on our class website. So I'm gonna update that right now. So it's about 10.25, so about 20 minutes into Related Arts, and I'm actually finished with my Monday to-do list except for our grade level meeting, which happens after school, and obviously I can't have that right now. So normally I would move on to Tuesday's task, which is my ELA plans, because I plan ELA and the rest of my grade level plans a different subject. We kind of conquer and divide, which is so awesome. Um, but this Friday is the end of the first nine weeks and I need to make sure I have all my grades. So I'm gonna do some grading and catch up on that. So one of the things I do to kind of help me keep track of, because we have to have a certain number of grades and things like that. So this is for each subject and then I put what it is and then I record who's turned it in. So that way I know who's still working on it and then I can start recording the grades so then I can go ahead and file these in their folders and then I can do all grades in the grade book at once. And then I highlight it if I've put it in the grade book and they still haven't turned it in. That way I know which ones I need to go back in and they still need to do and which ones I have since collected after putting them in the grade book and those need to go back into the grade book. So this has really kept me organized for students who are missing work, students who 
papers I've graded but haven't put in the grade book, those kinds of things. It just kind of keeps me all on track. And it's just a Google Sheets with checklists and boxes. Happy Tuesday. I just dropped my students off at art and so now I am going to work on our reading plans. I plan just reading for my grade level and um, I have a wonderful team that plans the other subjects so I just have to do reading and writing really, ELA. Um, and I'm actually working two weeks out so let me show what I'm doing. So like I said I am working two weeks out. Next week we have a Monday and Tuesday off. Well Tuesday's a teacher work day for parent conferences. So it's only three days next week and we are starting benchmark. We're doing our reading benchmark testing next week for the end of the first quarter. So there's really only one day of instruction for ELA. So I'm just sort of taking what we're doing this week which is, which is nonfiction text structures and just taking that into next week for that one day. So the week after we are doing um, like a pumpkin theme week, fall themed. Um, so basically what I'm doing is we are doing main idea and details for nonfiction uh, text. And so I just found some pumpkin ha uh, Halloween themed text that we're gonna find the main idea for. So I am writing it out, typing it out into a draft document and then I'll copy and paste it into our grade level lesson plans. Um, and so we have to turn these in each week so they're very kind of formal, um, but let me show you. Okay, so these are our uh, reading plans. Um, and then I just have linked the different like PowerPoints that we use to teach it, a uh, video, and then uh, links like this is a game they can play. And then I just have different passages that I will print it out that I will have copied for our grade level. And then we have a must do may do. That's actually what I'm working on right now. Um, I'll talk through that in just a minute. And then I have to do the writing, which I haven't written. These are from this week, so I haven't written those yet. Um, we're doing a pet pumpkin project. Um, so during our reading time, we do a must do may do instead of like reading centers. So each day when we're meeting with small groups, they have different tasks they have to do. So I'm working on filling those out. Um, they, we integrate our social studies into our reading time where we teach one lesson on Monday and then students work on a project with a lot of uh, literacy skills, finding main idea, uh, summarizing those types of things. Um, so that needs to be added into all that. And then um, this is still, I haven't changed that. That's from last week so I'm working on filling this out so that I can have all of reading done and then I'll work on writing. So one of the things I do while I am planning my reading and typing things out and when, when I find a resource that I'm going to use I go ahead and print it out so that I can just make a pile of the things I'm doing so I found some resources on Teachers Pay Teacher that have passages and finding the main idea so it's all printed out. So I won't do it tomorrow because I'm a two weeks out, but next week I will put this in our copy room. We have a fabulous PTA that runs our copies for us, so I, all I have to do is put this in there with the information and they'll copy it for my entire grade level. So um, I do that, that's like my Wednesday task, but I go ahead and print it out while I'm lesson planning so I don't have to go back and find it later. For writing during our pumpkin Halloween theme week we're doing a pet pumpkin and so I've done this for several years I got the idea off TPT I'll link it below um, but I've done like the actual like little mini pumpkins where each student gets one of those but I've found that they get really gross and yucky over the course of the week so I was really excited when I found these um, Easter egg pumpkins from Target for only three dollars uh, which is a lot cheaper but basically they adopt a little pumpkin and they take care of it all week and then they write about um, different things so let me show you what they're going to be writing about that week so the product I use is um, a printable so I made it digital several years ago um, because we did it in conjunction with our what we were writing this year they're actually going to be this is their writing assignment this week um, and so this is just a little introduction and then each day is a different um, writing prompt. So they'll write a letter to their pumpkin of why they chose their pumpkin. Then they're gonna describe their pumpkin. Then they write about their pumpkin's adventures at school. Um, and then this is where they pretend their pumpkin had an adventure while they were gone. So probably while we're at Related Arts or recess. And then um, a secret identity 
And then finally, they have to write a persuasive letter to their teacher to let them keep their pumpkin. So that's what they're gonna work on um, all week during that week for writing time. So my students this year are, um, we have a few issues. So I've already decided that I will probably have a pumpkin patch, which probably just means a basket where pumpkins rest during the day so they're not distracting to us during class time when we're not working on our pumpkin projects. Um, just for a little classroom management hack because um, while several of my students I know could handle it, there are a couple that would struggle with it. So we'll probably just make it across the board that pumpkins sit in the pumpkin patch when we're not writing about them, I think is what I'm gonna do. We'll see how it goes. Well, happy Thursday. As you can see, I am not in the classroom. So a couple things happened and I just forgot to record today in the classroom. Um, but here's why. So Wednesday, I did not have a related arts. Um, or we had robotics and that teacher's out and they did not have a sub. So I did not have a planning period. So obviously wasn't able to show you what I was working on because I had students in the classroom. And then we had a faculty meeting after school. So I did not even get anything done after school either. And then today is Thursday. And on Thursdays we have, or this week we had um, technology which is in the classroom. So I am not in the classroom, my students are, so I just take my computer and anything I need to work on and go to another room office in the building and work in there. So a lot of what I did today was computer-based. I worked on our weekly slides that I put up each morning for their morning work and then our agenda that the um, students copy into their planner agendas. So I worked on that stuff, so I'll insert a few clips of that here and then I went ahead and got uh, copies put together and ready for to put in the PTA room for our wonderful PTA to make our weekly copies for us. So here are a few clips of that and then I'll be back in the classroom for Friday. Happy Friday. I just dropped my students off at music and so now I am, I picked up, stopped by my mailbox and picked up a whole stack of copies from my grade level members. There's a few of the ones I put in there so I'm going to sort those and put those away into my subject drawers. I do drawers instead of, um, like by subject instead of by day because we use our copies for multiple days. And if you're curious how I organize all my teacher paperwork, I have a video that I can put up here for you. I think that's the side it goes on. One of those sides. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna put these away and then I need to um, integrate into the grade book and then work on getting my visionary of the week. I don't wanna show you her name. Um, certificate and things like that for her. We will not have a visionary next week since it's a three day week. But that's what I'm gonna do right now. And then I'm probably gonna spend the rest of my planning chatting with my coworkers because we have a work day on Monday, or Tuesday and a three day weekend. So it's gonna be good. Let's get this stuff done.
So almost forgot to wrap up my day. So I just got in my car, about to head out for my long weekend and then work day on Tuesday. If you enjoyed this style of video, let me know in the comments below if you would like me to make more vlog style uh, videos of weeks and days in the classroom. Um, I would be happy to share more of the behind the scenes. Um, and I hope you guys have a wonderful week because I know you'll be seeing this on Sunday. Make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for more videos coming out every Sunday and maybe more future vlogs. See you next time.